Welcome back to another Pow Pow World video. I just wanted to say thanks so much for love on the last video. I was really surprised to see it do so well since I thought lore and world building stuff would be kind of boring to most people. But I think the reception was pretty good. So I look forward to making more of those since there is a lot to my world I still need to figure out. The channel also reached 200 subs recently so I wanted to thank y'all for that. Really happy with how things have been progressing here on YouTube, but extra extra thanks for all the engagement. I love interacting with y'all and seeing all your inputs and ideas towards my fictional world. It means so much that something that is such a personal passion project of mine has other people taking interest. But enough of this mushy gushy gratitude stuff. I know why y'all are here. Today's pow pow designs draw from my love of dinosaurs and kaiju. Dinosaurs are so magical in their own right. I have such a fondness for these creatures that were once real but almost feel like they're mythical or of a fantasy world since they are so much larger than life and from a time so long ago. And although we know so much about them, there's still a ton more we don't know. And then we have kaiju, which are dinosaurs but scaled up to the extreme in regards to size, fantastical abilities, and over the top battles. T-Rexes and Godzilla were core to my childhood and always make me feel like a kid. So today, I'd like to indulge my 6 year old self by going over some designs that I think kid me would have really loved and hopefully you'll like them too. So let's get into the first design. Thinking about the world, I knew there had to be a big and formidable earth type pow pow that inhabited the rocky regions, caves, and the great mountains of pow pow world. Before starting a pow pow design, I try to look back at my collection of random doodles to see if there are any potential candidates as a starting point for a pow pow design. I found this weird little monster doodle that had horns that reminded me of a mountain. And I love the heftiness of its body that also felt immovable like a mountain. So I took this initial monster doodle and started working on a design that took the core elements that I liked and expanded upon it. I wanted to imbue a stubborn personality into its design since earth and mountains are often seen as being immovable and very strong willed, like Toph from Avatar being an earthbender. It started to take this sort of toadish shape, which I didn't mind, but I didn't want another cutesy, chubby earth type pow pow when we already have Claymo. Plus, I wanted to be more feisty brute and not lazy lump. This pow pow should be much more formidable and strong looking. I was picturing something along the lines of a triceratops or a rhino. Bulky defensive creatures with horns basically. So I started breaking up the body a bit more so it wasn't all just one cohesive blob. I buffed up the arms but they were looking a little too swole so I took them down a decent chunk. The head is the center focus and I felt that the big arms just detracted from its design. While it does make the pow pow look stronger and potentially sturdier, it also made him look really awkward. Kinda reminds me of bodybuilders who get really large muscles but lose the flexibility and bendability of their arms as a result. I ended up with these smaller dinosaur-ish legs that I am much happier with. Now the weight feels better distributed throughout the design but there's still a strong emphasis in the front head area which makes it feel sturdy and tough. I got rid of the mouth snarl because it was doing a little too much and I think it was the right call. I also added the saddle like pattern to break up the back but I also like that it implies that you can ride on it. I love the idea of journeying around on the back of your pow pow so I'd like to make as many pow pow rideable as possible. Teratops, the ridge horn pow pow. Teratops are well adapted to live in rocky regions. Their strong jaws allow them to crush up even the hardest of minerals, and their strong head bashes allow them to break up boulders that block their path. Teratops will bash heads with one another to determine the pecking order. Its name comes from the combination of words terrain and triceratops. I really love how this one came out. It feels kind of like a dinosaur, but not at the same time, which I like a lot. It's not like any particular species to my knowledge anyway. I kept in mind the Triceratops the whole time while designing it, but I knew I did not want to make it just an Earth Triceratops since it's just a little too straightforward of an interpretation for my liking. I love taking the essence of an animal species or multiple and taking it as inspo rather than just implanting fantastical elements onto an existing animal and calling it a creature design. I love Pokemon designs that do that, like Magmar and Nidoking. Not to say all my creations do this, and there's definitely room for designs that are very representative of existing animals but I just also really appreciate it when creature designs deviate from animals we already know to exist and introduce us to something new. And hopefully Teratops evolution continues that. For its evolution, I started with some exploration doodles since I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to go. I didn't have any sort of inspiration or concept in mind for the line. I was really just trying to evolve it since it doesn't really look like a complete pow pow on its own, at least to me. 
For its evolution, it made sense to largen its existing mountain horns to better emphasize them, so all the explorations played with that idea a bit in different ways. I ultimately went with the one standing up since the others just felt a little too similar being on all fours and a stump body. To me, the design is very kaiju-esque and I definitely wanted to lean into that. The mountains sticking out of it are silly and over the top, but that's what's so fun with kaiju designs. There's sort of a don't take a serious kind of feel to them, like just enjoy the big monster for what it is. And that's kind of this Pow Pow's whole deal. It's just a big mountain dinosaur monster thing and that's it. And I like that about it. There's not always a need for layers and layers of concepts and lore for a design. Sometimes big mountain monster is all we need. I was liking the general largeness and stockiness of its body, but the head was tricky. I think it was missing the largeness of the mouth that the previous stage had that I liked a lot. So I pushed it pretty hard since this is its evolution, but don't worry, I'll knock it down eventually. I like this direction for the head. It really enforces the sturdiness that I've been building upon throughout its design. But it was looking a little awkward with its mouth closed. Kind of like if you've ever seen Goldbat with its mouth closed. So I went ahead and opened that up and ooh did that do wonders. It was really coming to life for me at this stage, since up to this point I was still considering abandoning the design altogether. So I continued doing some more adjusting and started figuring out the body a bit more. I knew I wanted to stay pretty stocky in shape for the body and wanted to round off some of the body shape so that the sharp bits would contrast against it better and stand out. I considered more dynamic poses, but this pow pow isn't built to pose. It's just a big stocky pow pow, built to take hits and hit back if you get too close to it. Here you can see me trying my hardest to understand how the mountain spikes on its back work. I did a back view of it to get a better understanding. And I also busted out the geometry for this too. I started breaking up its body into geometric shapes that I can understand in 3D space. This really helped me figure it out and make it make sense. I adjust the design accordingly and then the design is finished. Pykagon, the mountain spike pow pow. Once Teratops evolves into Pykagon, their mobility is severely limited. So they do not venture very far out of their domain and instead spend most of their time fending off other pow pow that try to claim its territory. Its name comes from the word pike, which means mountain, but it also means sharp point or to pierce, which all fits together so well. I was really worried I wouldn't be able to give Teratops a solid evolution, but I'm pretty happy with Pykagon. I didn't think I was going to go the kaiju path, but I think that worked out quite well and kind of fits the whole theme with mountains being large and tough. Although he's meant to be a tough pow pow, there's something silly and cute about him that I really enjoy. Maybe it's the chubbiness or the ridiculous spikes on it, but I love how cheesy the design is and it definitely appeals to 6 year old me. The next design also kind of echoes these same themes as well, so let's get on to the next pow pow. Now the last two designs today actually started out as kaijus for my other fictional world project, Sweet Dreams. But I thought they'd fit well here as pow pow. Plus, I'm all about recycling some designs, saves me a little bit of work. But I couldn't bring them as is. They just needed some updates to fit my current style and to make sure they look like they belong with the rest of the pow pow. The first major issue is just the general posing of the design. It doesn't do a good job of showing off the design, so I needed to address that before doing anything else. Posing is definitely not my strong suit, and you can see how I kind of use scribbly shapes to block out the body so that it hopefully makes sense. Going into the design, I thought I was going to have to make a lot of changes to make them feel right, but once I started redrawing it, I was really liking how it was looking in the new render. It's fun to see how much my style has progressed, and I'm happy I was able to better capture this creature in a more three-dimensional pose since its former rendering was very flat and 2D. Besides a few tweaks to proportions and a few lines to break up the belly pattern, I didn't really change the design much at all. Dumasaur, the Chaos Blade Pow Pow. The blades on Dumasaur's body burn with such intensity that it can cut through metal like butter. Because Dumasaur inhabit deep mountain caves, they are often seen competing with Pykagon for territory. I love love Dumasaur. It really does look like a creature I would design as a kid. Like, let's just take a generic dinosaur, slap a bunch of blades on it, and give it the edgiest of edgelord names I could think of. Maybe it's for all those reasons that I am a sucker for this pow pow. It's simple yet over designed at the same time, but I think it all works, for me at least. I feel like it's a design that is kind of self-aware of its corniness, if that makes sense. It was meant to be a kaiju design after all, and I wanted to embrace the silliness of kaiju. I'm also really proud that this is actually one of my oldest designs, debuting back in June of 2021, and I am still happy with this core design, especially with this updated render. Now, let's get on to the other pow pow. Like Dumasaur, this design started off as a kaiju from my other project. 
Here is the official post of it, also back in 2021. I basically just wanted to make a giant cute puppy that attacks the city. And that's how I came up with this design. But taking it into Pow Pow World, I knew this one would definitely need to be updated. The proportions definitely needed an overhaul. It was cute, but it needed to be even cuter. And turning things into a bean shape always helps. I was also kind of aware that it was entrenching on Dragonite territory, so I decided to take out the striped belly. To further differentiate it and give it more of its own identity, I changed its horns to be much more antler-like. I think this does a lot to soften up the design and better pairs with a cuter bean bod. This led me to take the horns off the wings too. Side note, but I love when creature designs have wings that aren't actually big enough to be capable of flight. Something just very cute about it. Dogra, the mystic dog pow pow. Dogra are rarely seen since they mostly reside in extremely high altitudes. Because they fly so high up in the sky, some people believe Dogra are angels from the heavens. This is another design that I am a sucker for. I've always been a big fan of dog designs, and now combine that with a dragon, one of my favorite mythical creatures, and you have a pow pow that is very me through and through. I mean, it's a little puppy dragon, what's not to love? Despite loving the design though, I will admit that I am not 100% happy with the rendering. I think it's because its face is straight up in profile, but it's fine for now. Something I feel I can easily fix later as I continue improving. Eventually, I would like to stop and take a look at my designs and make some changes. But for now, I am really focused on expanding the world and Pow Pow. So these are our Pow Pow for today. I do especially love Doomsaur and Dogra. In addition to their designs, they've been with me for a long time. And it's cool to see how much their design changes or evolves, like in Dogra's case, or how their old design still holds strong, like in Doomsaur's case. I'm also really happy with the Teratops line. Looking at the line now, I think it could maybe use a baby pre-evolution since the final stage looks like a final form of a three-stage line. But let me know what you think. For me, this line is kind of like filler pow pow, but in a good way I hope. Filler in that they help build out the world and maybe help better inform environments, in this case Rocky Mountain ones, and even relationships between pow pow, like Pycagon and Dumasaur competing over space. I hope that every time I add a pow pow, it starts getting easier to see the world since I'm still very much in the discovery phase. Hopefully my fellow Dino Kaiju fans especially enjoyed these pow pow. But as always, let me know what you think of them down below. Also feel free to rate them if you don't have any words to say. And don't worry about hurting my feelings, it's all subjective and everyone has their own preferences. But that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. And with that, I will see you next time.